Here at Comic Con with some fabulous people from Gotham. Guys, how you doing? Good. We're, we're fabulous. <laughs> uh, first off, what's it like coming back this year? Last year you were a new show that hadn't debuted yet. This year you've had your full season. What's it like returning to Con? You know, we, honestly, we, we got here last night, so we're kind of new to, we haven't really wandered into this incredible world yet, but um, it feels really good to be back. It feels good that people are now aware of, instead of hy like hypothesizing about what the show was going to be about, now people know, so. Yeah. And uh, you guys are in production right now. Uh, what can you tell us about season three, specifically, you know, as much as you can, I'll go down the line, starting with you, Cameron, your characters, uh, where we might see them as the season begins. She is going to be trying to figure out where she fits in, um, whether she's a good guy or bad guy, and we're also going to be um, exploring a part of her backstory, which will be very interesting. I'm really excited about that. So, yeah, the whole season is basically going from the mobster crime to the more vicious crime <laughs> that Gotham is known for, so, yeah. Great. And Donald, where's uh, Harvey? Harvey's pretty beat up. Harvey's pretty tired of having this quixotic fight that he's been up to for a long time. So at the beginning of the season, I think you find him wanting to try and do something different with his life than take on the kind of this the, the, the tide of evilness that is Gotham. Okay. And, uh, uh, yeah, you, uh, your character made some big uh, moves right toward the end of the season. Yeah, season two is going to be pretty different uh, across the board. I mean, the, the show the show's kind of dropping any, any kind of feel it had procedurally. Um, it's pretty much just going to be straight serial um, now. You know, we've built this community of characters. Um, and we'll be introducing a few more, and we're going to be spending time with them. For the Riddler, uh, or Edward at least still, um, you know, Edward... We kind of left him in this uh, schizophrenic stage where he was, you know, having this inner battle, uh, you know, between this person who's trying so hard to, to do well and then this person who's like, it's not working, man. It's not working. Your life sucks. Uh, and that's going to play itself out in, in, I think, a really exciting way. Is, uh, is Harvey going to sort of see any changes in Edward as he sort of deals with that? or Harvey's going somewhere else. So, I mean, I'm sure, he, I'm sure they'll cross paths again, but... Um Harvey's got a uh, he's got a little bit of a career change going on, I think. Okay, okay. And uh, favorite season one moment for you, Corey, for your character? I mean, end of the season, the last three episodes were my favorite. I mean, shooting shooting the the kill my first killing scene was uh, super <laughs> fun. T.J. Scott directed that in such a cool way. And then that last scene was just so exciting. Um, you know, the writing finally like dropped for me, and this you know this other man emerged. It was, Awesome. And for, uh, for you, Donald, for Harvey, like? I always loved uh, Spirit of the Goat. I like kind of the backstory for Harvey, but there was a million amazing moments. And, and, and actually, maybe the most thrilling moment for me was watching the transformation of Edward Nigma. I, I, I'm a huge fan of Corey's. I, I love his work, and I knew the whole season watching. I was <laughs> like, I just can't wait till people get to see what really comes out of this guy so Thanks, that was man. fantastic because edward would like walk up to you guys while you're in the middle of a case and you're like not now like right. we don't have time Dismissive. for this Dismissive. <laughs> but, yeah. and cameron for you uh you kind of started off the, the season very viciously and then wound up very viciously too yeah uh what was your favorite sort of character moment for you i liked i i loved being able to um push the Reggie out, Reggie dude out of the window. I felt like that was a big transformation for her. But I also loved the finale because I could, I got to work with pretty much all of the cast. Yeah, everyone all together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I, I really like those two. And who might we see you sort of paired up with as the season begins? Any new pairings or like? New pairings. Um, you just have to <laughs> tune in. <laughs> and uh, do you guys like uh, it when like they uh, introduce new DC villains and stuff like of that? Yeah, you know, I, I'm I'm super stoked because, you know, what what we're doing here is we're building a universe where you're going to get really attached to people, um, and this is a, this is a season that's going to be about light and dark, and you know, wanting to root for people on both sides, and maybe they're switching back and forth. You know, people that people will surprise you. It's nice. We're building a catalog of characters that are all exciting. You know, we don't have to rely on We're bringing outside. in new ones a lot. So. Good ones. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. And stay tuned to Thank IGN you. for Thank all the you. happenings from Comic-Con.
thank you.